Sandy Fur syndrome is a pediatric medical disorder, characterized by gastrointestinal symptoms and associated neurological features. There is a significant correlation between the syndrome and gastroesophageal reflux disease. However, it is estimated to occur in less than 1% of children with reflux. Symptoms and signs Onset is usually confined to infancy and early childhood, with peak prevalence at 18 a year or 36 months. In rare cases, particularly where the child is severely mentally impaired, onset may extend to adolescence. The classical symptoms of the syndrome are spasmodic torticollis and dystonia. Nodding and rotation of the head, neck extension, gurgling, writhing movements of the limbs, and severe hypotonia have also been noted. Spasms may last for one a year or three minutes and may occur up to ten times a day. Ingestion of food is often associated with occurrence of symptoms. This may result in reluctance to feed. Associated symptoms, such as epigastric discomfort, vomiting and abnormal eye movements have been reported. Clinical signs may also include anemia. Diagnosis Diagnosis is made on the basis of the association of gastroesophageal reflux with the characteristic movement disorder. Neurological examination is usually normal. Misdiagnosis as benign infantile spasms or epileptic seizures is common, particularly where clear signs or symptoms of gastroesophageal reflux are not apparent. Early diagnosis is critical, as treatment is simple and leads to prompt resolution of the movement disorder. Treatment Successful treatment of the associated underlying disorder, such as GORD or hiatus hernia, may provide relief. Prognosis Sandy Fur syndrome is not typically life-threatening and the prognosis is typically good. References